high-profile Democratic leaders are applying some new pressure on the state's high-ranking Republicans to pull their endorsements of Donald Trump. Well, Channel 2's Lori Geary live at Ebenezer Baptist Church in Northeast Atlanta, where the senior pastor is saying, Lori, that it is time to put nation over party. And Senator Johnny Isaacson is one of the only high-ranking Republicans that you will see here at Ebenezer Baptist Church on every King holiday. And Reverend Raphael Warnock says he recognizes that, but he also says you can't embrace Dr. King's vision while endorsing someone like Donald Trump. And so I think it's fair for me to ask our senior senator, uh, who has endorsed Donald Trump, do you stand by that endorsement? In an open letter to Senator Johnny Isaacson, who's up for re-election in November, the senior pastor here at Ebenezer Baptist Church calls Donald Trump's most recent comments dangerous rhetoric and so far beyond the pale of conventional politics. Reverend Raphael Warnock, a Democrat, says Trump has pushed the edge. And when Trump suggested that Second Amendment people might stop a President Hillary Clinton, that was the last straw. I think the work of resisting hate uh, is uh, bipartisan work. Uh, this is much bigger than politics, and I think that I Trump's like candidacy has already done a whole lot of damage, and, and we need leaders to be leaders, to stand up in this moment and say this is not who we are. I can control what Johnny Isaacson does. I can control what I say, and I'll apologize if I ever say or do anything wrong, and I'll stand for behind everything I say, but I'm not going to stand behind what somebody else says or does that's right, wrong, or indifferent. In response to Warnock's letter, Senator Isaacson released a statement saying he was not an apologist for others. Although he had endorsed the Republican presidential ticket, he told us Friday, he was also leaving his options open. I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to vote for the first, and I think at the end of the race has, has earned it and deserves it. We've got nine weeks. We've got 87 days to go. A lot of things can happen. I think if you've endorsed him, you ought to explain why you think that endorsement makes sense. Georgia's other U.S. Senator, senator is also hearing from some of the same critics telling him to drop his endorsement of Donald Trump, but Senator David Perdue has come out strong in support of the Republican presidential hopeful. Reporting live from Ebenezer Baptist Church in Northeast Atlanta, Lori Geary, Channel 2 Action News.